This video is about the setting up of my new, very exciting space. There's downstairs. There's the new pallet racking. And this is the new printing slash packing area. Plus, it's also about the GoPro Hero 8. Can you vlog with it? How smooth is it? Does it work? Is it easy to use? Is it convenient? Does it make things just happen where sometimes setting up a rig, setting up a jig, setting up a stabilizer is all just too much trouble? Well, we're going to talk about that. And I may have to work out if I can even stay up here because it's so hot. And today is probably about 30 degrees which means uh, I, I could survive at this temperature, but much hotter, I won't be able to survive. And can my printer survive? It's an interesting question as well. Here is the machine in all of its awesomeness. Now, but why we're here is over here. We can operate between 10 and 35, recommended 18 to 24, interesting. Storage. 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit. That's pretty damn hot. I'd be surprised if inside it's going to get hotter than that. We do get the odd day above 40 degrees. So maybe there might be a few occasions when that happens. Maybe something like five a year, which is probably going to be okay. Anyway, we'll have to get a thermometer and check it out. So here it is. Here's the floor. Here's the roof. It's 28 degrees today. And what's going to be interesting is what is the heat like? up there now i do waffle on a little bit about the space and the heat and how much i like it and all those sorts of things and doesn't the pallet racking look fantastic right now as we zoom up to it and look at those tons of books just hanging in the air exactly the same way bricks don't thank you douglas adams of course talking about the gopro this is all shot on this tiny little object that's about two and a half inches by two inches by one inch the footage is 4k it's smooth it's looking really fantastic. I am very, very impressed by the stabilization. I'm also very, very impressed by the sound quality that's coming indoors, handheld, just with the built-in mic. And of course, we're still yet to get the cage, which will improve that sound. Whew. Yep, it's warm up here. Interesting. This is the new space. And here is the view. It's like being in there. Had a look out. You can see how smooth it is. It's like a steady cam. Staircase. Here's the GoPro Hero 8. Here's the view out the window. And just working with the GoPro as I moved through my day, I found that just putting it down, getting a quick shot, turning it off. This thing is very heavy. Sorry, I just had to say that. The first thing I need to do is clean the floor. So I'm gonna get the vacuum cleaner was just a very easy process. And I was able to get interesting and compelling shots really with minimal effort. Pop it on the table, and in this case, pop it on the printer, and it makes for much more dynamic and engaging captures. And due to its physical size, clearly it can fit in some spaces that no other camera can. Certainly the Z7, an A7R 3 a Canon RP, a Fuji GFX 100, all of these things are large. Volume wise, height wise, this guy's tiny. And the other element of all of that is any of those other cameras, you pop them down, you put them somewhere a little bit precarious and you're much more worried about breaking them because they're a lot more expensive and they're a lot more fragile. The GoPro is tough. It's an action cam. Clearly built for action, like vacuuming. Again, walking down the stairs here, the GoPro shows how ridiculously smooth and how ridiculously steady cam like it is. All right, so now I'm gonna carry for this. Now we're just freeze framing for a quick moment to show that the GoPro is really bad, not even in low light. For a 35 mil full frame sensor, this would not be a problem at all. We can see gain, which is the digital amplification of the signal that the camera is getting, and that creates the effect of grain. Now, 
it is not dark under there. We can see that in even minimal low light, this camera is not going to look as good as it does in the sunshine. Now, of course, it's an action cam, so it is primarily designed for people being out on their skateboards, their bikes, jumping out of airplanes, and less so for the action of carrying bookcases up staircases. Although I do think that could be a new Olympic sport, and that normally happens in the sunshine. So it'll be interesting to test it when I go out at night. I have a feeling it's not gonna look great. And I'm going to move this shelf here over there so I can put my Drobo on it, which I'm just about to bring up. Back to the video. I need to do some printing. Anyway, let's move that over there. Right, now we are going to get some shelves here. And pop these. on the shelf. The GoPro really does excel at movement. It's astonishing how it levels and smooths things out. There really is no capacity for the user to stuff this up. If you could get bad shots from a GoPro, you'd really have to have absolutely no idea what you're doing at all. And again, we can see here that this is a tiny shelf and we're able to get the camera into these unique places. So there we go, shelf in place. Next, I'm gonna go get the Drobo. Go get that. Okay, so I've talked about the Drobos before in this video here. I have two of them here. One's a backup of the other one. Just give them a quick clean because everything's covered in a little bit of concrete dust because they had to drill in the walls and the floor. So I'll just do a quick clean. See that little movement there? And again, and one more time. That is the camera automatically finding the horizon. And that is awesome. Okay, so I brought another shelf up to just uh, create a bit of shade for the time being until I work out a, a blind. Got to get the dust off. Two years of dust. opened up the door to let some cool air in but look there's a bird flew in he's uh he's six meters off the ground i can't really get to him or i might die and i don't want to leave him here overnight i don't think he'll like it so we're going to try and get him out as we've already talked about, it was a very, very hot day. And you can see here on my desk that the, Pro, the GoPro is actually lying down, having a bit of a rest as it overheated and it's charging. Ultimately, I had to finish this video with the iPhone, which we can see the stabilization is not quite as good as the GoPro. Okay, so what we're doing here is printing the first print since the printer, the printer, was lifted up by the forklift. Is everything working? Well, we're finding out right now. It's looking good, looking good so far. Well, good news, everything looks like it's in order. So mission complete. We have successfully moved the printer up onto the mezzanine and got it working. The sun's gone down. It's just over there. I've opened the big door to cool things down. And uh, yeah, that's made a sizable difference. Okay, well, here it is coming out. Just quickly to talk about the fade resistance and 
print longevity of the Epson 2000. It uses ultra-chrome pro inks, our next generation pigment ink technology. It's independently rated by Wilhelm Research for up to 200 years for color prints and 400 years for black and white prints. So now I'm just going to quickly wrap up what I think about the GoPro with this early review. And whilst we're doing that, we can watch this time lapse recorded by the GoPro over the course of an entire day. This was from 8 a.m. through till about 6 p.m. with the GoPro hanging off a battery. So to cap off the GoPro Hero 8 Black, can you vlog with it? How smooth is it? Does it work? How easy is it to use? How is the stabilization? Well, definitely you can vlog with it. There's absolutely no problem at all whipping the camera out and hitting record. And the same button that turns it on starts at recording. So you can start vlogging really quickly, really easily. Focus is not an issue. Stabilization is not an issue. And if you're in areas where there's no wind and background noise, the audio is great straight out of the camera. Now, if you have to add a microphone, that's possible when the extra cage arrives in just a couple of weeks. So vlogging, I say yes, as long as there's good light. How smooth is it? Well, we can see it is very, very smooth. It is highly commendable. How easy is it to use? It is so easy to use. There really is nothing to do. Auto exposure, auto focus, auto stabilization, you're just off and running. Auto sound levels as well. And that stabilization is an absolute cracker. So what's it good for? Well, it's good for good light situations. It's good for quick starts. You can place the camera almost anywhere. The sound is solid and time lapse is super easy. And if you've got a battery connected to it, then like the time lapse we are watching right now, it'll just go all day long. I have been trying to get the live streaming going, but I can't get it to work at this stage. It's simply not connecting. I don't know if it's an error with GoPro or an error with YouTube, but I'll keep working at it. The one area I'm a little bit worried about it for is night low light situations. And that's something I'm going to test soon, but I think we can already see it's not going to handle that very well. Of course, it's got a tiny sensor compared to 35mm. As always, thank you so much for watching. It has been so good to see you. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to see you again. So please subscribe. Please share. It makes us all smarter. And please like, because uh, that gets the word out there. Alrighty, I look forward to seeing you next time. And of course, if you want to see more of my videos right now, you can just click on the Matt Irwin Photography word below and you can see over 150 films right now. Catch you later.